Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel and today we are going to talk about 11th of August Godly Blessing. Now in today's Godly Blessing, Father wants us to become an instrument for world benefit and while becoming and thinking like a world benefiter or a soul who is going to benefit the world which starts with self, God wants us to be free from all the waste and become equal to the Father. Now we have to increase the energies, the energy levels if they are low. On a daily basis, we cannot help ourselves, we cannot help our family, neither can we help anybody else in this world. Don't we all agree to this? So if you are agreeing to this, then we need to understand that what exactly does God wants us to do. So let's explore this. God says in today's blessing, May you be free from all waste and become equal to the Father by considering yourself to be an instrument for world benefit. Just as the Father is the world benefactor, Supreme God Father comes and He heals every single soul who is ailing from doubt, fear, ego, jealousy and all the negativities, sadness and, and, and is going through anxiety, fits and worries and stress and tension and anything which you can think about, even depression. So God comes down and He helps us to come out of this loophole which is not letting us come out of the sad moments, the mood swings, the unhappiness and He wants us to come out and become equal to Him, become somebody who understands the complete drama, the complete work of God. At the same time God says, may you be free from all the waste and become equal to the Father by considering yourself to be an instrument for world benefit. So just as the father is the world benefactor, in the same way, you children are also instruments for world benefit. The atmosphere has to be transformed by the attitude of you instrument souls. As are your thoughts, so will be your attitude. And this is why souls who are instrument for world benefit cannot waste their thoughts or attitude for even a second. If we have any kind of impure feeling towards somebody, that thought creates an attitude towards that person. So if we have an impure attitude towards any person, automatically it is coming because of the seed which is the thought. Then God says, no matter what the situation may be, what a person may be like, could be in your family, could be in your workplace, could be in any other area of your interaction. So you could meet a people who are not exactly the way you want them to be. They don't react the way you want them to be. They don't give back answers the way you want them to be. So God says, your own feelings and attitudes must be of benefic benevolence. Now that is for me, not for them. I'm not doing any favor to them by being polite, by being kind, or by being trustworthy. I have to be somebody who is benevolent to the person for my own sake because that's how my peace of mind, my level of sanity, my level of happiness is going to remain irrespective of whatsoever the person does or whatsoever the person says. Have good wishes even for those who defame you. Now this is a big one. Now in this world, people are there to defame you because every person is not in a higher state of mood or a higher state of attitude any single time in that moment. So if a person is irritated, if a person is jealous of you, if a person is feeling any kind of low feeling, that person could defame us. Now that defamation should not affect us having good wishes for that person is changing the energies of that impure vibration which that person has sent you and sending it back in the terms of good wishes. Now that is going to benefit us because our hormonal changes are not going to happen. Our mood swings are not going to happen. Our mind is going to be stable. So God says he wants us to have good wishes no matter what. You will then be said to be from free from waste. The same as the father. Now the whole day our uh, moods, our energies, we feel low, are given out, are taken away or sapped out because of these waste thoughts. Somebody said something, defamed us and the whole day we are thinking about it or we are thinking about taking revenge from that person or we are thinking about how that person is not so good or better than me. That person is not even good enough for me. So when we are defaming that person in our own mind, or we're thinking of taking revenge, our own peace of mind is gone. We are not free from waste. And that's where we cannot help anybody else. Forget about helping ourselves. So this is where we have to be free from waste. 
we have to be equal to the supreme creator who is always free from waste and how do you do that you learn this beautiful knowledge at brahma kumaris which is a spiritual university it's not an organization it's not an ngo it's not a sanstha it's not a cult it's an organization which is helping souls to become more powerful mentally and purifying their thoughts creating harmony within themselves so that they create harmony amongst the family members and so in the society and thus in the city and more so in the whole world with this om shanti